Hello there, and welcome to my base. As you can see, let me show you around. Nice and spacious, just how I like it. But this base has been threatened by this big clan called Uno Clan. They threatened to raid me and start the wipe, so let's get into the story. Hello, are you home? Hello. They aren't on the roof right now, just saying. There, like, there's 13 of them, and they're still on bows, dude. Okay. Wait, they're they've placed furnaces on the back. Grief the backside where the furnaces are. That's where we should do it. And we should do it right fucking now. <laughs> Woods? I don't have wood. I don't have wood either. Do you have a hatchet? Do you have a tier 1? Can you craft a metal hatchet? Yeah. I haven't got a tier 1. If you do it really quick, then we can fucking I've do this. I've teamed up with some guys up there. Oh, those guys like, up on the hill. I with some guys up there. Well, that over there, 320 is my base, so. 321. Uh, there's a yeah, guy yeah, running over here with a bucket helmet. I'm gonna go. Hello, guys. Hello, I'm friends with Loki. I'm also a solo player. I've been told that you guys are friendly. Most of them stuck in the queue. Uh, practically about a bunch of bots. Yeah, but my plan is to um, craft TCs. They haven't placed external TCs yet where the furnaces are. That would piss them off a lot. Yeah, so. Me and Loki are pretty hey, poor, yeah. so we need some we need some help. You know, with um doing that and if we can get shotguns we can get source of this guy so yeah. they're literally retarded i just go there and say sagro and they come up with semi just to shoot the naked i would have like, killed one that one of the guys with semis but then i got roof camped yeah uh, we could go do it now if we want. i see one going out of the base I'm gonna yeah try and kill him. i'm gonna get a bow and farm some wood for a tc and then, then we can do it yeah i'll probably kill him honestly I tried door, he was gonna door cap me. There's two of them right now on the roof, I'd be careful if I were you. Sadly, me and my newfound friends did end up dying to this clan with the TCs. However, whilst my friends were on bag timers and getting geared up, I quickly respawned, crafted an Ioka, and ran straight back over in an attempt to sneak up on them without them expecting it. I had to try my best to be as quiet as possible, because one wrong move and they would hear me and I'd be compromised. I had to move as they did, blend in, and sneak my way up to the top. Once they made it to the top, there were two players. Neither of them saw me, so I followed the one who looked like he had an MP5, and planned my attack. Once you make the play the naked, you must grab the most important items and make sure that you're full HP for any other attacks. At this point they closed each of the doors I'd entered through, which means I had been locked down. I had been trapped in their base. I tried my best to gather all the loot and the guns in the room, and I tried to hold it down for as long as possible. When you're in a situation like this, it's important to keep your composure. You must be confident in situations like this. Here, I taunt. Hey boys, someone's so smart, huh? No one would give in and open the doors and plan an attack. Sadly for me, they played it smart. They opened Holy each of the shit. doors at the same time and ambushed me all at once. Playing solo in that situation is almost impossible to win an outcome, due to them easily overpowering me in numbers. But one thing each solo player should have is determination. So I went straight back over there after finding two Eokas on the road. I loaded them up and played it far more aggressive than last time. Knowing that they already knew that there were players inside their base, I could roam with confidence. A close shave, I almost got one. Due to my position being given away, I rotated back around to the other entry point. To only find that my allies had joined me. This time, I had a strength in numbers too, which gave me even more confidence in the potential of leaving with a gun. Why the 
pakar Go, six, go, six, go, six, go. Where am I going? Holy shit. Oh my god. Boys, <laughs> guys, guys, guys! Their garage doors don't have locks on yet. Camp, camp their garage doors because I'm pretty sure they're gonna place locks at some point. Wait, what? Yo, what's up, Archer fam? Yes, yes, fill up the turret, man. Or you can just use the AK you've got in there, you know. I hit one, I hit one, holy shit. Watch that, watch that, watch that, watch that. Watch that. Headshot him, headshot him! You guys are so bad, dude. <laughs> wow. You guys fucking suck. Thanks for that semi, by the way. That was really cool. Good semi. Even with numbers, we became outnumbered. And we did end up dying. And once we got back, they had placed the code lock and locked their garage doors. <laughs> Even hours later, this clan kept bothering me. So I took it upon myself to bother them. Bother blocking you, bother blocking. There's like three. There's four, four, four. <laughs> Hello, you guys not so good, huh? Not bad, not bad. Very nice. Yes, you move your horsey away, bitch.
very good. Obviously, as you might expect, Uno clan does get a bit annoyed with me. So, they beef with me in chat. He tells me in chat to get a life, which I think is pretty ironic coming from a leader of a 32-man Rust clan. And they in general just seem to flex how many people they have. And the rest of the chat makes it pretty obvious that they don't like them. <laughs> this clan is quite well known for being toxic and mainly just pretty bad at the game with huge egos. It's road sign. Get your shit. Nice, nice, nice. Get the yokers. Run, fuckers! <laughs> Again, another death. But the main thing here is that I'm proving my dominance. Each time I get a gun, I kill at least one more of them. And that is frustrating them and getting them very, very annoyed. Hey Archer, how's it going brother? Now, your teammates aren't very nice, Bob, but you actually seem pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I am cool, man. Go kill that guy, go kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I take it back, he's a fucking racist. You guys sleep well now? Okay, I'll see you all in the morning, or in the, or in tomorrow evening. Hey. Oh. Guys, come on out. Um. Oh. Hi there, I just want to say goodnight, I'll see you all tomorrow. Go, as my friend, go, sword him. Sword him. Do it. Oh, Martux is looking scared, don't lose the game. Oh, well done, he survived. I just want to say goodnight and I'll see you all tomorrow. And I'll take some more guns tomorrow, okay? Marcus. What the fuck happened to Uno Clan? In the end, Uno Clan lasted no longer than one day into the wipe because they got code raided by one of their teammates. And that leaves me to wonder, who code raided them? Why did they code raid them? Was it maybe because they were frustrated with their teammates constantly dying to a solo player? Hmm, who knows? Well, I sure as hell would like to think so. <laughs> well, in the end, it looks like I beat Uno at their own game. Thanks for watching.